engine compartment of a 1990 Ford F-150 pickup truck with a 5 liter V8. What we're about here is to demonstrate how to install the fuel cell that creates hydrogen and oxygen that we use to run this vehicle. To start off, we'll begin in the lower left hand corner and we'll begin with the battery. We need a 12 volt battery and if you look close you'll see a lead off of that battery right there where it's red with the yellow connector and black. And that lead goes around and follows itself all the way over and down over to the fuel cell where you see it's connected to the positive side of the fuel cell right there. That's the anode. Now when you have a positive you need a negative. The negative side of the anode is the actual bracket that the actual fuel cell sits in. If you look down there you see that band of metal right there. Well there's one there and there's another one further down below that you just barely can see. Those two are joined together and they are joined to the firewall and anchored in the firewall which will come in here and we'll show you. And if you look down there you'll see where they're anchored right there. Okay, and that bracket goes down underneath. Alright, the anode is located inside the fuel cell and it lines the inside of this wall. That's the positive where that connector right there goes through and bolts to. That is the anode. The cathode is located inside in the center and it comes out through the bottom all the way down at the bottom and it rests on this metal cage right here and grounds to it which it of course is grounded to the truck. So there is your cathode or your negative. This is what the cell looks like from the top. We have the outbound tube right here. We have a view and fill port right here and we also have a vacuum set up for a vacuum gauge and if we follow that all the way around that'll take us to our vacuum gauge right there. Now if you look across here you'll see the outbound tube which I have right here. If you follow it and keep going with it the outbound tube goes over there to the intake plenum on the engine. In other words, the hydrogen-oxygen mix is pulled directly from the fuel cell all the way into the engine itself and the air plenum above the intake manifold when you're idling, when you're cruising, and decelerating. But when you go and accelerate your vehicle, what happens is, is that vacuum, which is normally about 17 inches, that vacuum will drop down to 7 inches, thus you're using more gasoline than you are hydrogen and oxygen. So what I've gone and done is I have made a T-joint right here and I've brought that T-joint down with a gas liquid valve and teed it and then I've brought both ends of it around one to here as you can see and then another one over to here because there are two tubes on a Ford that go over and into the intake plenum. So I have one here which draws by uh, a Venturi action and one there that draws by a Venturi action. So what happens when you're accelerating instead of the fuel which is coming through this feed tube, instead of that fuel going toward the engine and the vacuum dropping off and using more gasoline, the vacuum will drop off and instead a vacuum will be created here and it'll split to the two pipes and come down here into the air intake plenum box from the air filter. So what happens is, is the valve which is located here and the other valve which is located over there. That valve will then close off and this valve will open up thus sucking the hydrogen oxygen mix this way into the air filter plenum box right here which is what you're looking at right there. Now here's the gauge right now it sits 
at zero on the vacuum. Let's see if we can zoom in. See if it'll focus. Is that zero? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the engine up and you'll be able to see where it sits at an idle. So just hold on and I'm going to stop the camera a second and start the truck. Hold on.